Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I am Randall M. Roof. Today is Tuesday, March 20th, 2018 AD. It is 3.28 p.m. <coughs> Excuse me. I just checked my email, and it says, Columbus Bartholomew County Citizens Alert. Um, the following is a message from Columbus and Bartholomew County Alert System. Uh, it says, please click here to acknowledge receipt of this message. So let's see exactly what we're going to do here. And it says... Columbus Bartholomew County says an alert. The time for accepting message responses has ended for this notification. Thank you for responding. Now, I'm not sure what that means. I mean, other than, the, other than it's too late, I don't understand why it's too late to receive the message. It doesn't make sense to me. Maybe somebody out there can explain it to me. I don't know. Okay, let's see. Uh... A winter storm warning has been issued for your area. That's nice to know. Please do not reply to this email. If you have email, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, 3, 2008 at 6, 13. So basically tonight, uh, let's see, ending 1,800 hours. Huh? Uh, 3, Oh, 320. Okay, that's tomorrow. So basically, from 6, excuse me, from 6.30, that T 8.13 or 8 o'clock? Uh, or is that 1,800 hours? I, I don't know. So basically, six o'clock to six o'clock for one day. For Rush, Bartholomew, Decatur, winter, heavy heavy snow, four to six inches. Which if that happens, I've been in a lot. Rush, Bartholomew, Decatur, Jackson, and Jennings counties. From eight p.m. evening to two p.m. Eastern Wednesday. Plan on difficult travel conditions, precautionary preparedness actions, etc., etc., etc. Of course, if you have an assist, some assist, need assistance, there's an email. But, uh, so there you have it. I, um, I don't understand what the purpose of this. Please click here to acknowledge receipt. Now, I understand they want to get receipt that I've received. I understand that. But what does it mean when time for accepting message responses has ended for this notification? If the trouble is still theoretically going to happen, or if the bad condition is still going to happen for the next day or so, why has the message already ended? I don't... And what is the time for the message to expire? And... I mean... I just got it, so... How, how could it have already expired, or... Uh... You know, they sent it out at a certain time, and I didn't... I just checked my email, so... Um... But it is, this system has its shortfalls, obviously, because you have to check your email. Whereas if they call you on the telephone or text message or they do sirens, um, it's just it's more easily, it's quicker. Now, the downside to the sirens is from where I am inside if you're watching TV or listening to music or just you're having a casual conversation the sirens are far enough away you can't really hear them unless you're really trying to listen to them um, if you have a cell phone or a home line and they call you the downside of that is until recently they've been calling you 10 times to tell you the same thing you get a call and 10 minutes later you get another call and 10 or 20 minutes later you get another call this is a good idea. It just needs streamlined. Um, now, how do you want to streamline it? I don't know. But uh, that's just my report of how it's working. Um, so, of course, uh, as a ham operator, my call sign is K9RMR or Kilo 9 Romeo Mike Romeo. Uh, there was a uh, WeatherNet uh, on the local repeater, which is how I first heard of the uh, storm. Um, I heard the sirens, but I really had I really don't pay too much attention to them. One, because they're not that loud, and two, I don't really. I just don't, you know, it's, it's kind of like background noise. 
uh, from my distance inside the house to the local uh, fire station where the sirens are. So, with that in mind, thanks for watching. Have a good day. And uh, God bless. For you ham operators, 73.